Hello and welcome. This is going to be a general overview of the menu options and other features of APP that are not exclusive to the type of files APP works with. So let's go ahead and get started. First is going to be the uh, APP welcome button. So if you were to open APP through a Windows shortcut or an icon, this is the menu that you would see first because it opens up on startup. Uh, it allows you to select new or open for every file APP works with. And you can also select to not show it at all. Next is going to be the create new. Uh, you hit new and it allows you to select from the list of files APP works with. Um, you can create a new chart or a new sheet as well here. Um, then you've got open. Open is going to open up your file system and allow you to select an existing file. We'll go ahead and open up the single piston engine that we create in tutorial one. At the top we have the standard Windows Save button, the Cut and Copy and Paste button, and of course, Undo. The Options menu is a good menu to be familiar with. Um, if you don't want to have the units default to SI units upon startup, you can change the default units here to British or a different version of SI. Uh, it allows you to change the output of the sheet. So the sheet defaults to a brief output, but sometimes a detailed output is more uh, informative. The show uh, welcome screen, we notice the checkbox on startup that you can check this, but you can also uncheck it here. And of course you can reset the settings. Uh, the sheet gives us some flexibility with the sheet formatting. So some uh, border, line, background colors, some significant digits, uh, fonts. The chart sheet gives us the same flexibility, but with the charts, so line thicknesses, uh, line like font sizes of markers, and the of course the line colors. The remaining two tabs are the performance parameter and the mission parameter tabs. This menu allows you to add variables to the output of the respective file that you're working in. So let's say you're working in a performance file and you want to add um, calibrated airspeed to your output. You go to calibrated airspeed, you hit add, and it's going to show up in the output of your computation. Same deal with the mission parameters. If you want calibrated airspeed, go to calibrated airspeed, hit add, and now that will be reflected in your output. Next is the About button. The About button shows you the version that you're running in ABP and any free disk space that you have. The 1 through 4 at the top of your screen are Units Indicators. Uh, 2 is set by default that we showed in the Default Units section here. And 1 is British, 3 and 4 are SI small and large units. The play button next to the units indicators is a run computation button. So if we open up a mission or a performance file, we will see that the play button illuminates to green and it's now selectable. So we can hit run on this guy and it shows that it runs successfully. So the remaining menu buttons that I'm going to show you are chart related. Uh, next to the Run Computation button, we have the Toggle Black and White view, the Toggle Footnote, Toggle the Legend, and then Toggling a Quadratic Beast Blind Smoothing button. So if you need to toggle the Footnote and Legend, select the Plot, and then toggle the F and L button, respectively. Next is the quadratic B-spline. This will put a B-spline through each of the mission segment lines. This example won't show it very well, but that is what it does. And then, of course, the last one is toggling black and white. 
it is going to change the lines and mission segments to black solid lines or dash lines and then in the legend it will change as such the next thing i'm going to go over is formatting of charts so this mission profile we run notice that the cruise portion of this chart is completely missing the 2500 is the the limit of the axes so we can't actually see the line so i'm going to adjust the axis limits so we can actually see that so to do this you're going to right click on the chart and go to chart designer and there are a bunch of things that we can edit in here uh, the axes the secondary axes series labels font colors etc but we're going to go to y-axis and under scale we're going to deselect the automatic scaling and we're going to change the maximum to 2800 and we hit apply and you'll see that the chart adjusts accordingly the last thing we're going to go over is the analysis tab over on the right hand side of the page and this allows us to create a new instance of any of the app files that ALR provides and select the aircraft file which we want to run with. So to do so you just go ahead and hit load and select the aircraft file you want to load in and then whether you want a mission computation or performance computation you just select the corresponding radio button that you want to make and then hit go. And you can see that it creates a brand new instance of whatever file you selected. So that's going to do it for this video. In the next one, we're going to talk about aircraft files. I'll see you guys then.